up your money I will not lose Prosper be my only option Hi, wonderful one, SCL.com. It's your girl, T-Animated, and I'm back again with Support Saturdays. And at this time, we're at the St. Louis Hop Shop. I'm with my boy, Ryan, and I'm with my boy, Justin. What's up, y'all? What's going on, man? Hey. So, first and foremost, tell us about St. Louis Hop Shop. Well, uh, St. Louis Hop Shop is a craft beer store. Uh, we opened up last May, so it's coming up on a year now. Our goal was to simply have the uh, best selection of beer in the city. Um, we work a lot with our local breweries to, to make sure that we, we stay on top of just what's new coming out. Um, but we get beers from all over the world. Okay. Okay. So tell me what what led you all to be like. You know, if we get it, I want to work with nobody but myself. How did that How did that like start out for you? Um, I think for myself, it was just always having a belief in myself that I can do something different. Um, I've always been somebody who's kind of been my own path, I don't really you know, follow the crowd. Um, and I think craft beer was something that um, my brother and I found ourselves slowly but surely falling in love with. It was something we were always involved with. Um, we were always trying new beers, always going to uh, different festivals and stuff with uh, that kind of highlighted the, what was going on here with the craft beer industry in St. Louis. Um, and we just we felt like it would be something cool and different um, and something that would really kind of fit. Let's visit creativity for a second. So, like, how did you all get the idea of Hop Shop? Like, how did you paint it in your mind? You just like, did you want it to be a regular bar? Or you like, I want to add more to it? What did that creativity come into? Um, honestly, originally, the idea just kind of started off um, selfish reasons. <laughs> we both lived in the city, like I lived on the north side. At the time, um, I lived on the north side, around the same downtown. Um, it just, we didn't have anywhere that was like really beer centric here in the city. We had places that had like better selection than others. Um, and I think that's where the idea kind of sparked from. And then looking into it more, uh, the idea just started to come together. Only thing I want to be is successful. So tell us about a little bit about like hardships, like everything as far as being an entrepreneur and being a business person at the same time in the city of St. Louis and being young and black. Um, I would say for the most part it's just um, the timing. Um, there's so many things you have to juggle um, from when you wake up to when you go to sleep. I think that the, another thing for us is we feel that uh, just the, the concept of what we're doing has kind of kind of caught on to people. Um, so it's been a really, honestly it's been a, a very, very supportive start off. Like when we first, first opened up, we've had a great neighborhood push behind us, a lot of people and kind of hear about us from word of mouth. Um, but again, it's always room to grow in, in ways to, to kind of get the word out there more. So, and so I look to you for, for opportunities like this to kind of highlight what we're doing. But so far, it's really going all right. <laughs> you are, yeah. So, like, how did you guys like, learn the knowledge of all these beers? Like, all these beers, like, how does that work? Um, it's, it's a learning process, to be honest. Like, I thought I knew a lot about beers too. You said a lot of consumption. <laughs> <laughs> it's like one of the things like, I thought I knew a lot about beers until we started getting more and more educated. Um, the complexity of the different beers, I mean, beer can easily just be if not more complex and wide, just like the variations, the subtle variations, different things they can do, different. This is so many different recipes, I mean. So, like you said, really a lot of. A lot of trying, a lot of tasting. <laughs> you know, so, like, let me ask you this: How many beers do you have to taste the way? Like, all right, bro, let's clock out. Like, <laughs> we did a lot of it. Again, it's kind of one of those things in the initiation process where we really wanted to try the majority of the stuff in the store, so we'd be familiar with it for people who come in, so we can be able to explain it correctly. Okay, so like, what is something that you want the community to know to always when thinking of St. Louis Hop Shop? What is something you want them to leave with? Um, for me, um, I just want them to know that this is a place they can come and, and, you know, be treated well, get the beer that, or get whatever it is they're looking for. Um, I'm a huge proponent of just like kind of creating a cool atmosphere and putting a good energy into it. And, and I think that's become, that's really receptive. I think people are really receptive to that. Um, just from what I've seen, people come in and how they interact with each other. 
and how they interact with us. Um, and really, first and foremost, we just kind of want to be that, that like local neighborhood that go to the spot. You know, just if you're looking for some good beer, come to the house. Looking for some good beer, good time. So if you're looking for good people, good beer, and good time, make sure you follow them at uh, St. Louis Hop Shop on Instagram and Facebook. It's spell out St. Louis Hop Shop um, and ST Louis Hop Shop on Twitter and www.stlouishopshop.com. Uh, Come follow them at 2606 Church. See you around. Turn it up! <laughs> let me in now, let me in now. Bill Gates, Donald Trump, let me in now. STL.com is T-Animated with Support Saturdays. If you have any inquiries, make sure you contact me at T underscore animated and T underscore A-N-I-M-A-T-E-D. It's hot. Right. Now, right. Yeah, now, Bill Gates, Donald Trump, let me in now. Bye-bye, old life. Cover your mouth when I speak, I'ma bless you. Open your ears a little more, let me tell you. Soak up this game right now, I'm about to kill you. Cause sometimes the things that you don't know can kill you. Watch what you say and always be respectful. Be your own person or become a failure. I never wanted to be nobody else. Only thing I wanna be is successful.